Energy plays a vital role in economic growth and poverty reduction. The demand for power in Sri Lanka is expected to double by 2035. Climate change is pushing the energy agenda to use more clean and renewable energy. In Sri Lanka's energy mix, the high share of imported oil-fired thermal generation makes electricity expensive and poses a serious threat to the environment. Increasing the share of indigenous renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar energy, reduces fossil fuel usage, generates power at lower cost, saves foreign reserves, improves the country's energy security, helps preserve the environment, and contributes to climate change mitigation. First one, the power cut time timeline. We face the center of the main branch. We have to go to the bus transport. But now, there is no situation. Now, the time is over. We are feeling so good. Now, we have to go to the Asian Development Bank. With the support of the Asian Development Bank, the government of Sri Lanka has built a wind farm on Manar Island in the country's northern province. This is the first large-scale wind farm in the country which paves the way for setting ambitious renewable energy targets, supporting Sri Lanka's drive toward becoming carbon neutral by 2050. 30 wind turbines capable of producing 3.45 megawatts each have been installed and generate a total of 103.5 megawatts of clean energy. Overall, the MANA wind power project of CEB will contribute to reach the government policy target of 70% of electrical energy generation in the country from renewable sources by the year 2030. Power generated from the wind farm is connected to the national grid and is supplying electricity to households in Sri Lanka. Fortunately, after starting this power plant, we are having uninterrupted power supply that is boosting our health service and also we could provide best quality of health service to these people. The wind farm project preserves Manar Island's biodiversity. A first of its kind in Sri Lanka and South Asia is the integration of a bird radar mechanism to monitor bird movements and automatically stops the wind turbines to avoid collision with migratory birds. The wind farm will reduce the country's carbon dioxide emissions by about 265,700 tons per year. This is a commitment to clean energy, a climate resilient and sustainable infrastructure contributing to improving air quality, people's health, living conditions, and the quality of life in Sri Lanka.